series, um, it's gonna cover a different topic every week, um, including like friends, family, um, mental health, um, and by no means am I a mental health professional in any field or any realm. Um, this is just my personal experience. I'm not trying to get certified in this kind of field or anything. I'm a filmmaker, I and that's why I enjoy filmmaking so much as well, is because it just gives me that opportunity and that outlet to really just branch out and to share these experiences and stories with other people. Um, um, so this week I want to really cover the topic of materialism. And the reason I started this series was because um, I feel like society <laughs> is really skewed in this perspective. And it's been talked about a bunch, but um, you're my audience, I want to talk about it here. <sighs> mm. So... So, I want to talk about this because I had this experience yesterday and it kind of like sparked the channel for me, sparked this series. Um, so yesterday I was just going about my daily life. Uh, I went to, I go to the gym practically every day and um, I was just doing my thing, whatever. And then, um, I'm not really a big shopper. I really, I dislike shopping so much. Um, I, I don't like picking out clothes, they're expensive, why can't you just wear the same five things and be happy? And you can. That's what I'm trying to say is you can. Um, society is so skewed. Um, I just put out another video like on Wednesday for my main channel about this, but it just really frustrates me how much people, <laughs> I just, whatever, um, how much people depend on materialism to make them happy and, and <laughs> I've tried to, I'm trying to live this lifestyle where the less I have, the better. And it's been, it's moved mountains for me. Um, like literally all, all you need in your house is a bed, um, so some way to cook and obviously some way to like shower. Um, like literally the bare necessities. I challenge you <laughs> to live with the bare necessities. I'm just, I'm laughing because I'm so, it gets me so happy and excited to just finally realize and live this way because I mean, we're, I mean, we're all a bit at fault. Obviously we all need clothes to survive, but even my parents, they like push it on me so much, this materialism and, and it's just, it's nuts. It's nuts. Like what if we just spent all that time and money on experiences with our friends instead? Oh my God, revelations. You wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't even believe how much happier you would be. Um, <laughs> so I just, I challenge you, and next time you want to buy that new pair of shoes that just came out, why don't you just like call a friend instead and be like, hey, you want to go out for lunch? Or save that money, save it to travel to that one destination you always wanted to go to. Like, I am telling you, I am, I am I'm literally, oh my gosh, it like, it gets me so hyped because, not only because I'm drinking coffee, but because I think about it and how it's changed my life, and I just really want to make this a movement to change other people's lives like okay <laughs> um yeah so i don't like and that's that's another it's, it's a lifestyle just like a diet um a diet isn't a fad it's not temporary a diet is is a way of living which i think most people get skewed as well like it's it's not like i'm gonna diet for a month it's a diet is like is the way you're gonna eat consistently and so i <laughs> I'm rambling, I'm ranting, I'm going off, but it's like the same thing. It's a lifestyle and it's a lifestyle that you choose. So I'm just like looking around my apartment and there's literally nothing in here and I, I couldn't be happier. Um, <laughs> and my family gets like, they get so, they're, they're so weirded out by it. They're like, Dana, why do you like to live like that? And I was like, it just, it's just so great. Like, cause you haven't experienced it yet is, is why um, I'm gleaming. I need to, I know, I need to. Is, is why um, I feel like they don't get it. They don't get it because they just haven't lived like this. Like I'm the kind of person, this is my ultimate goal. Um, I just wanna like literally have whatever the necessities you need. Um, I'm not like Jack Kerouac or whatever into the wild, but like, like I wanna live a comfortable life, like a nice whatever. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I wanna have like, hmm. I don't wanna like live in the woods per se, but um, I just want to live 
uh, and create memories with family and friends and experiences rather than spending them on like a nice like new car or nice new clothes or because those things even even going back to the yesterday I was I was in the mall because I don't know I was literally oh man it, it kills me to say this but I was oh my god I don't even want to say it but I never shop I never shop I was in the mall I was bored it was it was literally I was just walking around um, I had no intention of buying anything I just needed to get out of my house you know get some fresh air so I went inside another building really makes sense um, but no um, and it just really it sparked something for me because I've come to a point in my life where material things don't even give me temporary happiness anymore, which I could not be more excited about because I have passed that phase. I've broken that barrier of society. And I, I'm looking at all these things around me and I was like, okay, cool. Like, I don't, like, I don't care. Like, I just don't care. And I want you to get to that point as well. Like, I just don't care. Um, about these things. They're just things. Like, and then people get so upset when, I, I guess, yes, you invest money and time into things, so when something breaks, it's like, yes, it, it matters, but, um, so, <laughs> just buy less, you know? Um, <laughs> uh, alright, yeah. Well, that's like kind of what I wanted to cover today, materialism, um, spend those Spend or save, save, invest, invest, invest. Oh my God, I could not, I could not, I could not say it enough to invest. Um, people get a paycheck and they just want to blow it right away. No, I mean I understand. Yes, of course you have to pay bills and everything, but every every kind of penny that you can kind of just put aside, um, I I strongly encourage you to do that because it will it will literally move mountains for you. You you will not even realize how much you have saved up. Um, and then you can go on that cruise or whatever you want to do or travel and um, just invest. Yes, invest, um, which is a whole, whole nother topic of how you want to invest and where you want to invest. But um, uh, yeah, I, I just, I wanted to start this because I, I really wanted to get that off my chest and I was just looking around and I, I've been this way for a bit now where uh, like a while, like pretty much even before college. But um, since I've graduated, um, and now that I'm like kind of more living on my own, it's it's a little different, um, and it's better. It's better. Um, I couldn't really fully see the I couldn't see the full picture before because like I was at home, I was with my parents, and you know just things like get very muddled very easily. But um, now that I'm on my own, I, I see the lifestyle that I want to live, and it's working for me. And I so I want to just see if it maybe it'll work for you. You know. Um, and that's not to say don't have goals and don't have ambitions. Um, yes, you should work hard for, and there's so many, oh my God, there's so many like two sides to every coin, but um, I get that material things are there, so it's an incentive to work hard, but the problem is that it, the, the, those incentives don't produce happiness. So what, I think you just need to, I think society and, and maybe you guys just need, we just need to, as a, as a humanity, I'm, I'm obviously a part of this too, but change our incentives. Maybe those incentives don't have to be materialized. They could be, like I said, experiences. And, and that's why I think vlogging and documentary, documentary, documenting is so important because people want to remember experiences. And that's why vlogging has become, become such a huge part of people's culture this uh, the of this culture and this nature uh, of humans and society because people want to remember they don't want to remember memories so just to recap this series is only meant to spread a bit of positivity um hopefully impact your lives in a quality way um i'm just trying to spread um what i've learned um because knowledge is power I truly believe that and maybe a few of these things will work for you if you guys are struggling uh, just if you need a change in life you know um, if you're not happy with where you are you know maybe a few of these things just a few minor things that are very uh, ironically not costly at all um, actually cut back on costs and you'll probably be happier with your life so um, I hope you guys enjoy this series as always, these will be Thursday episodes and then Wednesdays will be comedy and skits. So, um, also don't forget I do have a vlogging channel. So, um, if you want to hop on over there, I have, uh, have the link in the description below. Um, and I'll be traveling a lot this summer, so you'll probably want to see a few of those videos. Um, 
not here to promo myself. I'm here solely today to spread pods. Did I say Thursdays? Did I keep saying Thursdays? Because it's Saturdays. Oh my God, I am so tired. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, and yeah, I would. this is a fun social experiment in terms of not like trying to trick others and see what happens, but just in terms of society, um, see if it changes your life. I'm rambling. I will see you guys next Saturday with another fun, little, impactful, quality, quality life video. And as always, take it or leave it. See you guys next Saturday.